Hi everybody and welcome to the Lost Towns Project Archaeology Lab. Come on inside and see what we've got going on. Welcome to the virtual lab tour of the Lost Towns Project's Archaeology Lab, located at historic London Town and Gardens. In this short video, we're going to explore the life of an artifact once it leaves the field and enters the Archaeology Lab for processing, and we're also going to see what other things our lab offers. Once artifacts are brought in from the field in bags labeled with locational data, otherwise known as provenience, they're placed on these shelves and organized where they wait to be washed. Here, two of our lovely volunteers are washing the dirt off of artifacts, using toothbrushes to do so. After washing the artifacts, we place them here in these trays to dry overnight. At this point, you really can start identifying what the artifacts are. See the little pores, holes here? That's where all the blood vessels go in the bone. That's why, that's why I know this is bone, plus it's really light. Um, and After drying overnight, the artifacts are rebagged labeled, and then cataloged. Here, you can see our volunteer Marge labeling this jawbone with an acid-free clear acrylic, then placing on the acid-free label, and covering that with another layer of acrylic. The label has provenience information on it, because where we found something is just as important as what was found. Here, Sean is cleaning off rust from a piece of iron with a tool known as a Dremel. Some artifacts, such as metal and glass, are chemically and stable when they come out of the ground, and so we have to conserve these artifacts so that they don't degrade further. Here, Sean has cleaned off a lockbox that would have been on a door. Through conservation, metal artifacts are transformed from hunks of metal to identifiable artifacts such as that lock and this key. This takes a lot of time, care, and skill. Once the artifacts are processed, they are stored here in our temperature-controlled storage room. Some artifacts, such as these tobacco pipes, are kept in cabinets in the lab for further analysis, which Jesse is doing here. Basically, I'm separating uh, the ceramics that I have from feature 28 at mm -hmm. our site called Java, and I'm trying to figure out the minimum number of vessels that we have represented in the feature to help me analyze the feature and figure out when the feature was filled in and what it might have been used for. Uh -huh. So I'm, right now I'm pulling out all types of stonewares and earthenwares and uh, just sort of figuring out what designs I have and how many vessels I have and maybe what their shape was. Here, Jessie is synthesizing all the information she has learned from the artifacts to determine when the pit was filled and what the pit was used for. Our lab also holds an extensive collection of books and journals on colonial history, material, culture, and anthropology. This is a non-lending collection of Anne Arundel County Public Library and is available to the public during our lab's business hours. We are also happy to assist Anne Arundel County citizens identify artifacts that they have found in their yards. We hope that you've enjoyed this quick tour of our lab. We love having visitors and volunteers, and we hope that you'll come see it for yourself soon. Which is basically used to beat filmmakers over the head with.